Hello everyone, can you listen to me? Can you please type one if you listen to me? Thank you, Erika, Yaldin, yes, Hasiel, Nadia. Give me a second, let me go and turn off the other computer because I'm listening to myself. Please type number two. Is the volume is okay with you? Thank you, Melina, Hasiel. Hello, Diana. Hi, Di Nadia. Perdón. Sorry. Armando, welcome everyone. Okay, guys. So, uh, is the volume okay for you? Thank you. Okay, so far uh, you are 15. It's great. Okay, well, remember, um, let me do this. Okay. Uh, Geraldine, maybe it is a problem with your uh, heads, headset, headphones, or earphones because everybody is listening okay. So, uh, last the first session, we had some problems uh, with. Uh, with the volume in the microphone. Jorge Reyes is asking me for the microphone. I'm giving it to you, but remember, Jorge, you must uh, use a wear a headset, no speakers, please. I gave you the microphone, Jorge. You can you can speak now. Hello. Are you listening, Fisher? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Okay. Um, uh, I Jorge, could you please mute your microphone? We can listen to a lot of crickets and I couldn't listen to you, the question. So please, you can unmute your microphone and, and ask the question again, please. Uh, I cannot write anything. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know why. Please mute your microphone, Jorge. I guess uh, if you cannot uh, see the chat, it's because you may have uh, clicked on it. Then you, you should look for it uh, on the on the left at the bottom. You will find something like an arrow. So click on it, and you will be able to chat on it. And also remember, it is better if you use Mozilla Firefox. Gabby, is anybody, does anybody have the same problem as Gabby? Ivan, not Ivan. I mean, she cannot, she cannot hear what I say. 
Thank you, Nadia. Thank you, Hasiel. Okay, I, I guess it is. Thank you, Erica, Ivan. Thank you. I guess it, it is a problem with uh, everyone's. Yeraldine, do you think I, I am too close? Armando, is that very clear? I guess it is your computer. What about now? Is it clear now? Is it too loud? Better, thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me tell you this. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna sound something like a commercial. I'm. I'm using a microphone. I don't know how to call it this. In, uh, what to call it in, in English? It is called microphone de solapa. So you can you can uh, fix your microphone um, on your collar and if you're on a, a, a shirt, etc. So TV, okay. So this is uh, the best for me. Is the best kind of microphones. Yes, if you have a headset, it's also a good one. But sometimes it depends on the on the brand name of the headset. But anyway, uh, the first session I promised to send you the video because I, I'm recording this, but there was a problem. The problem is that I uh, I cannot listen to anyone's voices except mine, so it is it doesn't help you if I send you that video. It's a uh, really uh, actually I uploaded it to YouTube, but. Uh, it is. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense if I send it to you because, as I said, I cannot listen to you. It was only my voice. I expect tonight that everything is going to be fine. Okay. Let me see this. Uh, I want to apologize for last Friday's. Last Friday because I uh, I had a a problem, a technical problem, and I couldn't. Actually, this is uh, one of the problems. Sometimes we, not, we do not expect, and suddenly they appear. But anyway, I'm sorry for being absent. Yes, I tried to to fix the problem, so I didn't send anyone an email because I was working on that. So I'm so sorry. Okay, guys, uh, does anybody want to use a microphone to say something before we officially start? Remember, you must participate. I already sent you, all of you, uh, some PDFs. Actually, there were, I guess, four or five about weeks one and two in the first forum in forum and week three. This is to see your participations, and then also I send you an Excel document so you can be checking every every activity you do. In this online course, it is a really short course. It's only uh, eight weeks, so you should have you should have received uh, those documents. And uh, if you receive the Excel document, actually, I typed, I saved that the, the Excel microphone uh, document in the 2003 version, so nobody can have problems to read it. So you can go and check, and then at the end it says uh, about the online live sessions, and you have two columns. One is for the attendance, and the other one is for your participation. So remember, this is part of our our course. It's part of our cl class. So so you must participate. This is going to be recorded, so you can. Uh, no, no, no scores, Veronica. Uh, I, no scores because you, every one of you is going to check the, the comments. I have mine, yes, but I want you to check exactly what you do so you can see exactly how many participations in the forums and online sessions you have. So at the end, uh, you can compare what I have with, with what you have. That's the reason I send you the PDF so you can have a proof. Why? Because the, the forms are hidden now. Yes? So this is only for you, your personal records. Okay, guys, let's start with this session if you don't want to use a microphone. 
No? Anyone? Okay, Geraldine, I'm giving you the microphone and then I'll give it to Melina and then Philemon. Geraldine, you should have it now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good night to all of you. Um, well, I just to to a comment. Uh, I think it's it was a, a I don't know a hard week for all of us. Well, from me it was because uh, it was like the first week with a lot of work to do. But I also enjoy it, and I think it's it's um, going through. I think we can do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it was really difficult for all of us. Okay. Thank you, Yarlin. If you want to say something else, go ahead. If not, please mute your microphone so I can give it to Melina. Okay. No, it's just to say hi to everyone. And actually, uh, I don't know if I can start about talking about hot potatoes but I think it's gonna be later if you want it mm. uh, I can make a comment too about that yeah I want I'm gonna ask you some questions uh, really easy questions about Voki and then hot potatoes yes it's gonna be a little bit later okay let's listen to Melina okay thank you Yeldin Yes, Melina, go ahead, please. Melina, you have the microphone. It is on. And I guess if you're saying something, you have problems with the microphone. Maybe it is not well plugged in. Hello? Ooh. Hello, good night. Good night. Yeah, it's okay. Good night. It's too loud. Okay. Um, is it better now? Yes. Well, I just wanted to say good night to everybody. And I had a, a little question about the files that you sent us today, but you already answered that. So, um, well, I just want to have my mic open in case I want to use it. Okay. That's great. Okay. Thank you, Melina. And please mute it. I'll give you. I'll give. Uh, well. Yes. Go ahead. No, that's that's all. Okay. Philemon, you have the microphone. In a second, you will be able to say to use it. Remember, when you finish speaking, mute it, as Jorge, Geraldine, and Melina have have done. Maybe you are not accepting the microphone, Philemon. In the meantime, I'll give it to Nadia Villegas. Nadia, I guess you already had the microphone. You can use it, Nadia. Philemon, you need to accept and the setting sections of yes go ahead nadia okay okay excellent well um this week um like Geraldine, it was a hard week we have a lot of homework and i have a lot of a lot of to uh make things my job but well i really like it because um, about the text that we read about bucky i really like the suggestion of the partners about how to use bucky I think there are great, good ideas, great ideas to apply in the classroom. And, well, that's it. It was a great week. It was hard, but I think it's going to be better in the next week. Thank you. Anyone else? No, it's okay. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, guys. Question number one. Have you designed anything with Calamillo, with the PowerPoints and Audacity? That was the first week. Any answers? You can use. You should use a microphone. I was going to say, you must use the microphone. And I'm seeing that nobody has, only Philemon. Philemon, can you tell us what you have done with the uh, uh, Calamio Audacity and PowerPoints? Tell us, please. Unmute your microphone and you can tell us. Nadia, can you please mute your microphone? Thank you, Nadia. Philemon, we are waiting for you. You say yes, you have designed something. Tell us about it. What was it? Did it work? What was your students' reactions, etc.? Okay, anyone else? Because I saw only Philemon said yes, and the rest of you said no. Well, I guess Philemon's microphone is not working. Okay. Let me go to the next slide because the answer is no. Okay, you have two questions. The first one, how many of you already have an account at Boki? And if you have an account, have you designed any activities? Veronica, can you please tell us about it? Uh, let me give you the microphone. In a second, you might have it. And then I'll give it to Maria Fernanda. Veronica, yes, you have it. Go ahead, please. Oh, I enter to the Boki page and I make a proof with an avatar, with an avatar. I only record a presentation and I send to a few of my inmates. I'm oh, sorry, a, a, a few of my students. Can you please give us some more details about the activity? Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, but I muted my microphone. I, I said can you please tell us more details about the activity you did at Voki? Uh, well, I say that I'm only uh, record a presentation. I design my own avatar and I take something and then I choose a voice uh, from the list and I send to a few of my, of my learners to her and to view the, the avatar, to view the design. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Could you please mute your microphone? I gave the microphone to Maria yeah. Fernanda, and I guess it is on, Maria Fernanda. Yeah, I'm sorry. Later, please, help us Yeah, well, Rupe, you have the microphone as well as Maria Fernanda. Diana, can you say something, please? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh Okay, two days ago I had an, uh, a practice with my book and I I select uh, I can I could personalize my uh, my avatar I changed the colors of the hair and uh, even the voice you can select the voice for example if you want a British accent 
there are many, uh, for example, from the USA, from from England, you can um, can you hear me? I can, I can. Maybe Erica is having problems. Yes, go ahead, go ahead, please. I think it's okay. I did a practice. I, I don't have a, an account at Boki because uh, I didn't have time to uh, to do it. But I did a practice uh, and it was very fun. I think it's very useful. It's a very useful tool. Uh, and that's all what we can personalize and we can use it with our students to encourage them to make stories, to make presentations. They can Yes, go ahead, continue. Sorry, I had a problem with my microphone. And well we can uh, do many activities to talk uh, I said before, presentation, they can introduce themselves and, well, many, many things with that. Okay. Uh, do you say that they did, they did sign their bookie? Your students signed their bookie? Yes, I used it two days ago. No, but the question is, you designed a bookie, yes? And you personalized the bookie. But I'm asking you, yes, you yes. your students did yes. something, yes? Oh, can you can you send us a, the, uh, do you have the Voki so we can, everybody can see what your students did with the Voki? Uh, well, I uploaded it, but I didn't know how to see it. I don't know, uh, I, I I uploaded it, but I didn't know, I couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. And where did you upload it? I don't know how to do it. Yes. Sorry, I can hear. Did you upload it to a place? I mean, a website? I can hear. Okay, maybe the Anna is having some problems. Maria Fernanda, can you say something? Yes, um, but I haven't used the book yet. I was thinking about the hot potato. Okay. Hasiel, yes, you have a question. Go ahead, please. Diana, could you please mute your microphone as well as Maria Fernanda, and you can use it later. Just unmute it, and you can use it. Yes. Thank you. Hasiel, you have a question. And I guess you should have the microphone already now. Diana, please type yes if you can listen to me, please. Okay, thank you, Yarlin. I guess it is not my microphone. Veronica, you send uh, the bookie to your students. Could you please tell us how you, what you did to send it? Thank you for all the yes answers about that. Listening to me. Ciel, I gave you the microphone and you have it on. You can, you can use it, please. Yes, teacher. I'm saying that I entered to the Boki page and I only only to prove it. I designed an avatar and I'm recording saying, oh, hello, I'm Veronica and I'm happy. And I sent to a few of my of my students to see the, that creation. Uh, and I commented to them that it's a, a page that we can find on the internet and we can, and we can design a conversation, short story, and many fun activities with that. Only to to let them to know about this page because when I visit that, 
I I can see that it's very very cool to to use with with them. I have a question, Ernie. So if do you, yes, do you show your avatar to your students? Well, teacher, I have an option there. When I said there in a bulky page, mm -hmm. uh, it given to me a, a, an option to send to my students. Uh -huh, yes. But I don't know. I, I'm not really sure if they decide it or not. Yeah. Well, they because I don't see them. I didn't see to them to ask if they receive or not because there in the bulky page, uh, when I created. Uh, there is an option to send uh, via email. Yes, I know. That's but I didn't check. I didn't check. It. I didn't check if they receive uh, receive it or not. Okay. The, the next week I'm going to check that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I guess, my dear Fernanda, your microphone is open. We can listen to some noise. Okay, the noise is over. Haciel, you have the microphone on. You can use it as well as Maria Fernanda. Armando, okay, teacher, uh, go ahead, please. Haciel. I have a question. Uh, on the document that you sent us, uh, it was explaining us that we can use already a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, we can paste. Uh, our video, okay, this file, but uh, we need uh, uh, an internet connection to, to open just using PowerPoint. Hasil, I guess you microphone is uh, not working well. Can everybody listen to me? Because I'm, I can listen. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, it is a microphone, Hasil. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Hello? Uh -huh. I did listen to Haciel's question. I could listen clearly. He, his question was, um, he was talking about the Voki and, and how you told us that we could actually put the Voki in a PowerPoint presentation. But his question is that if we have it on a PowerPoint presentation, do we need to be uh, connected online to see it if it's just on the PowerPoint presentation? I'm sorry, could you please, <laughs> is that from which to loud? Is it loud for everyone? Was that Maria Fernanda? I guess because I couldn't see if, if it was Melina or Maria Fernanda. But thank you for, because I couldn't listen well to Haciel, and but you said the question, yes? Uh, okay, I'm, I, I was asking you if you, if you were able to use the book with your students, because as Veronica said, we have options to send our students or somebody else, our uh, avatars. Mm, there are two ways. That, that the main way to do it is by sending them an email, but I'm not sure. Philemon. I guess your problem is with your speakers and can you listen to me guys? Hello? Okay. Can you listen to me? Because I guess uh, some microphones. Maria Fernanda, could you please mute your microphone and has it? Mary, Hi. Um, hi, go ahead, please. Mary Fernanda? Yes. Go ahead, please. Say something. I can't hear you. Okay, but um, not the other speaker. Yeah, because nobody else is using the microphone except you and I. But anyway, you want to say something? Say, please. Um, no. Okay. Could you please mute the microphone? Okay, guys. There are two ways to use Voki, I mean, and send it to your students. One way is, as Veronica said, by sending 
something like an invitation using email addresses. The other one is embedding, inserting the bulky in a website, in a wiki, I don't know, perhaps in a blog. Yeah, I'm sure in a blog. But I don't know if you already, is anybody using blogs? Do you know what a blog is? Okay, thank you. And do you do you have a blog that wants to answer yes? Yes, blog, Luis Angel. Can you can you please tell Erica that she has problems with the speakers? Philemon, you are now listening to me. It's great. Okay guys, uh I'm gonna take some time next weekend, not tomorrow, because I'm gonna be really busy. I'm gonna send you a tutorial, a really brief tutorial. First, how to uh, have an account at, at, I'm gonna type that website. You can get a blog. This is the website. You can get a blog, get an account, and then I get the number. Could you please mute your microphone because I listen to some noise. In that website, uh, I can't hear you. But then I listen to some noise. Maybe Nadia, Hasiel, and Luis Angel have problems, as well as Gabby, with the microphones, their, their speakers. Yeah, Hasiel, is your, or your connection. Is, was, is my voice going and coming for everyone? Okay, guys, uh, another question, the same question. Can you listen to me clearly? Thank you, Veronica. Okay, so it's not me. It's, it's a problem with the uh, computers with those who cannot listen to me and my voice goes and comes. Erica, you have problems with the speakers. Okay. Okay, listen. Um, so I'm gonna try to. Yes, I, I think you're right, Yarlin. Is the microphone and the speakers as well as the speakers. But anyway, so I'll send you a, a, a brief tutorial on how to use. Actually, as I said, you can find everything at YouTube. But I'll send you a, a brief tutorial so you can embed your blog. I mean, your walking your blog, and then you start creating something for your students. And that's going to be really, really interesting and motivating for you students. In using technologies, there are three stages. Yes, the first stage is the teacher using the, the technology by himself or herself. The second step is the teacher modifying and designing activities using technology. But the third stage is the most important, is when we, wa we have students design their own activities, reports, projects, etc., using technology. That's the most important stage. So if you are on stage one, you should move to stage two, start designing. Yes? And you can use all the activities in two ways, as I said last session online and offline actually i guess i asked you a question about the flipped classroom it is something like combining like this this course yes in some uh, less like this va in some courses you have face-to-face -face classes and a few uh, online classes or mostly you have online classes and a few face-to-face -face classes yes Okay, the flipped classroom, we will speak about this uh, in the next next semester, but a little bit at the end of this course, in this semester, yes. It is, uh, okay, Mayra, yes, you're right. 
it is something like as I, I guess I told you yes but anyway it is designing activities uploading those activities to the internet and then students go do the activities and then instead of uh, wasting time in the class watching videos etc students spend the time discussing about what they watch or listen to etc but anyway I'll tell you exactly what to do and how to do it yes okay let's continue with this with because it is already 936 let me go to the next question uh, as I said there are three stages yes I invite you I recommend you to tell your students about Boki and tell them to do some assignments I don't know something like for example uh, it's okay Eddie you're welcome you can you can ask your students for example to introduce themselves this is the beginning of the, the term for everyone I guess you can you can ask your students to say something about themselves so they can use even not exactly in English if you of course it would be a lot better if you ask your students to say something in English but if not let's have you since you said the the, the bulky so you can ask your students to write a message and then type it a bulky and then find a voice in Spanish especially Latin American Spanish so they can create and I would like you to look at their faces when students design something using Voki, you're gonna see a really really big smile on their faces when you start using technologies and as I can see some of you a big smile when you design something with Voki or any other uh, piece of software so let's try this and tell us tell us what happened or what would happen yes let me go to the next slide can you please tell me once you ask your students to design something, can you please tell us, share with everyone using, I don't know, the forum or email address, etc. Tell us the advantages and disadvantages of really, really using Boki in the language classroom. So we can, we can uh, share and we can, um, let's say, steal ideas from everyone as you already did this week in the forum yes still in the good good sense so this is learning sharing and learning from each other okay this is the second part now you have a chance to tell me about hot potatoes go ahead please Melina. hello okay um well i really really like this the hot potatoes, I think it's a great tool that we can use uh, for everything from classes, from drills, for, uh, even for quizzes. Mm, I used the J cross to make a, a, a little crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. It was only for practice, I didn't really use it in, in class yet. But I think it's, a, it's very, very good and very, very useful. I really like it. Okay, thank you. I'm giving the microphone to Haciel. Remember, Haciel, when you don't use it, mute it because there was some some noise. Okay, Luis Angel is okay. Haciel, could you please say something? Okay, I don't know. Maybe Haciel is still still having problems with the microphone. But anyway. Can I guess, uh, Yeraldin, you have the microphone on, you can use it. As well as Maria Fernanda. Remember, you said. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, please. Hello. Okay, can I start? Mm hmm. Okay, um, well, besides that, all the uses about the pieces, J crows, and everything. So I think uh, hot potatoes is a wonderful tool for assess different subjects in, in the same time. Like when I, I was trying to try all of them and at the end when I use the masher, I realized that I can almost assess a complete unit with the 
maybe with a quiz for grammar, maybe with a puzzle with, I don't know, math, a match with science, I don't know. So, this is a wonderful tool to make our, our assessments or just practice. So, I think it's great. Okay. Uh, I guess, did you read what you were uh, speaking, Geraldine? Because I could listen well. It was not too low for me, it was okay. But anyways, for some of you, it was kind of low. Melina, as well? Okay, I don't know. Yes, go ahead. I don't know if you can listen better now. It's a lot yes. better. Okay, I was telling that. Yes, okay, sorry. Um, I don't know why every uh, live station I lost my voice. <laughs> okay, uh, I lose my voice. Uh, well, I'm saying that um, with this hot potato um, tool, it could be great not just doing the, the task or, or just a quiz or something like that. So if you join the five different ways to, to do a task, you can um, actually do a complete unit. It's like you can assess different subjects at the same time. So I think it's great to assess the whole unit from all the subjects that you are managing in classroom. Do you use only text? Do you use images, audio, video? Geraldine? Yes. Well, I, I use only text, but I... Yes. I, I just uh, did, um, I don't know, the um, exercises in text. But I saw the, the the options to add pictures and to add a video, and I check a tutorial a tutorial in YouTube. So I think um, if I practice, I can do it. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's a great start. Anyone? Anybody else? Thank you, Geraldine. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Okay, uh, you please. Thank you, Geraldine. Uh, Go ahead. That's it. I I use JMix and I love this option because in fact right now I'm teaching four graders about punctuation marks. So I realized that I can use JMix to do a little review about this topic. What I'm going to do is to read the sentences, make them pauses so they can identify where the commas go or uh, where can they I'm going to use intonation when I'm doing a question or an exclamation sentence. So uh, I realized that this this page is it's very useful for us, and we can take uh, advantage of, of it. Okay, thank you. That's great. Anybody else? Teacher, teacher just just one question. Yes. Uh, do we have to be? Uh, do we have to pay or something to send our results to an email? Mm, not exactly, but you need to have your own website, websites, and then you need to check if, uh, for example, I, I have a website. Yes, uh, I use it with my students at Centro Idiomas. Yes, I pay only four hundred and seventy-two pesos every year. In that mm -hmm. case, for example, in the the websites I'm using. Well, students do not send it to my email address, but they use it like in this platform. They use the, the, the Dropbox, so they send it using the Dropbox, yes? But as well, let me, I want to, I, I typed a, a, a website, but let me tell you about um, a website you can use. I guess it is campus.chamilo.com or perhaps let me open a new tab. So you can upload your activities. Okay, you guys, I uh, have it now. Let me copy it and I'll paste it in this forum. This is the website. You can go there 
and then you can ask for an account is three it's exactly what you are using in this BA and ELT so you can get you can upload your course and your activities and the problem is that we need to have some training on how to upload etc but I guess you will have you will find a way I can teach you but the course is not enough to 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 concentrate on what I have to tell you what I have to to cover and also these extra activities this would be a lot better but the problem is the time I don't know why they decided to have only eight weeks for this technological um, I mean subject but anyway so you can go there to campusshamila.org and then you can get an account and you can upload your bookies, your hot potatoes and everything we're going to be doing in this, in this course. Let me give you another website so you can go and check a lot of examples use, uh, using hot potatoes so you can have a better idea. In that website, for example, you can find different examples uh, in English, in French, in Italian, in Iraqi, I guess I cannot listen well, in Spanish. In English you have 158 different exercises on grammar, functions, vocabulary, reading texts, literature and business. So you have a lot of uh, examples there as well as in another one that I tell you in a minute this is only the website I'm giving you now I'm giving you now is an example of using video and I guess that version the person is using in this example in the last website I, I gave you is using a, an old version from Hub Traders but you can do the same with a new version you can insert you can embed videos uh, your own videos from your computer or you can embed mm, yes I, I'll do it Luis Angel I'm gonna put it into the announcements yes in the website and I mean in the platform in the course as well as this presentation if you can you can see that in the in the next for example this is the one I tell I gave you first and this is the second one it is something like this but I, I send you the, the websites, the URLs. So the idea is to use all these um, tools with your students and see, you will see exactly, uh, Mitzi, I guess, well, she, she cannot listen. Can you please type to Mitzi? Maybe it's the is that micro, uh, is that speakers, uh, the headset she's using, she's wearing. Okay, so the idea is to have, to design activities and upload those activities so students can do what I recommend my students is to do something like uh, support exercises I mean extra exercises for the students you know everyone learns differently so if we upload the activities into our blog or a website like Jamilo students have the chance to go and do the activities at their own pace yes Jaciel, could you please turn, on, turn off uh, or mute your microphone? I, I'm listening. Thank you. I was listening to some noise. Okay. So the idea is to give you tools and use them, those tools, use those tools with your students. And you're going to see the difference in your classes from now on using this kind of uh, tools. It could be the same class, yes, but if you give students a chance to do something else on their own pace, at their own pace, you're going to see differences in learning. Mm, for example, it is great to use uh, the campusshamilo.org, but the problem is that you, ne you need to, it is motivating, thank you, Erika, you need to uh, teach your students how to uh, enter into the, the platform. And also, if you are working with elementary school students as well as junior high school students, you need to tell parents about the platform so they can go and check that the platform is really safe, academically speaking. Yes, 
So you tell the parents so they can even help, they can even help uh, their kids in their assignments, yes? And also, I recommend don't assign uh, this kind of activities as, a, as an obligation. Let's start by telling students you can go to this website and then you can find a lot of activities. I'm going to show you, for example, uh, my website, but the problem is that you need to, I mean, you need to go and ask for an account. This is I'm sorry, it's because I have a video in the website. This is the website I'm paying, the one I told you. It's only $472 uh, pesos a year. About, I don't know, maybe one peso 20 cents per day. And the platform I'm using there is Moodle. It's another one. But it's uh, a little bit um, similar to Chamilo. Actually, I prefer Moodle because it's a lot uh, better than Chamilo, but Chamilo is okay to start. So I upload the activities, yes. Okay, Eddie, <laughs> that's great. Well, I don't know if you listen to me when I when I recommended that you ask your students to do your Voki, their Voki, yes. Okay, that's great. Let's continue with this because it's already time to finish. So, if you haven't started using hot potatoes, designing with hot potatoes, guys, it is time to start now. As Amanda says, this weekend, okay? Anyone else? The idea of this licenciatura is that you better, you make differences in the work you're doing now, in your job, yes? Okay. It's great, a lot of messages. Okay. And also, if you want me, you can send me the exercises so I can give you advice if you need it. It's not an obligation. Okay, guys, use a microphone. Go ahead, please. I see that many of you have already uh, designed something. So please use a microphone. If you don't have it, Ask for it and I'll give it to you. Nadia Sasueta. Luis Angel. Okay, Armando, in a mid in the in a moment you have it. Okay. Nadia you yes, you already uh, good evening everybody. Go ahead, please. Can you hear me, Tito? Yes, Armando. Okay, hello, how's everybody doing? How are you doing? Um, I did a little bit of research on hot potatoes on YouTube, and it's really great. To be honest, I've never used this kind of technology in my classroom. Mm -hmm. and it's probably because I didn't know how. I did a few examples of uh, a crossword puzzle and using jQuiz, and it's really easy. What I'm really looking forward to is doing uh, is using the bulkies. I believe that those are going to be a boom in my school. Um, it also uh, hot potatoes. I think that they will be good for exams also, like um, uh, bimester exams. Mm -hmm. They'll be a really good tool. Mm -hmm. That's about it, teacher. Thank you, thank you, Armando. Jorge, you had a microphone on, you can use uh, Yes, go ahead. Armando, you want to say something? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, teacher, can you hear me? Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, a lot of noise, too loud. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I'm going to try this. Oh. 
but I, I think it's very interesting too. I'm going to try this weekend. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Nadia Villegas, I guess you have the microphone. Yes, only unmute it and you can use, you can start. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, could you please... Uh, can you hear me? Yes, Nadia, give me a second, Nadia. Veronica, you have a question. Don't you, okay. for everyone, uh, sorry, Nadia, give me a second, please. Uh, for everyone, don't okay. use Voki Classroom. You have to pay for it. So use the other version. Voki Classroom is okay, but I don't like it. I mean, if you can use the free version, it's a lot better. Okay, thank you, Nadia. Go ahead, please. Uh, hot potatoes this afternoon. And I watch some videos, and I try to do the J quiz. I think it um, it it's easy to use it, but I need to practice, obviously. And I really like it for the quiz, online quiz. I can use it for my students. I have a students that they are not in the in the right level. So if I give them some extra activities, I think the J quiz is going to be better. It's going to be the best um, activity that I can give to to that student. Yes, you're right. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Remember, this is participation. You had the microphones. Was that for me? For Melina? Yes, Melina, go ahead, please. Yes. Um, no, like I, I said, uh, at the beginning of the hot potatoes, I, I have used it. Well, not used it in the classroom, but I have been practicing making exercises, especially the one from the J cross. I think it's very, very good for the vocabulary. I'm Right now I'm teaching middle school, and we have a little bit more complex vocabulary than just like fruits and vegetables or things like that, but it's very good. And the other ones that that are like filling in the gaps, that that one I particularly liked because you can you can give different different options options for answers, not just one. And I found I found that particularly helpful too. Okay, Melina, personal question: Do you have a baby? Yes, I'm sorry. He just oh. came here in the room. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's great. That's great. That's great because. <laughs> It was, I, we listened to her voice or his voice. Is it a boy or a girl? He's a boy. He's three years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, anyone else about your experiences using hot potatoes or at least experiencing uh, how to design activities? I would recommend everyone, Melina, use uh, uh, the crossword, the Jake cross with pictures, images, is great for students. I use it a lot and they really like it. Okay guys, you have a microphone, use it. Remember this is sharing, is the best way to learn. Diana, go ahead please. Just unmute it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I have seen this kind of okay, I have seen this kind of exercises on another page, EFL page, and uh, I had used them before and I watched the tutorial and in YouTube and I think it is very easy. I thought it was difficult but it was very fun and very easy. Uh, I think it is an excellent tool for designing uh, exams or elaborate activities for our students. Uh, we just have to write or type the, the options, the questions and the answers. We can change the settings, the characteristics, the color, the instructions. We can 
uh, change the language and also we can set the time for the activity. Uh, we can give some clues to our students and feedback, also feedback. And that's all. I think it's very easy. Okay, thank you, Diana. Yes, it's really useful. Anyone else? Or any questions you might have about, I don't know, boki, hot potatoes, calamillo, etc. Go ahead, use time to ask questions. But please use the microphone. Yes, Casiel, go ahead, please. to hear from second two or second three or or something right uh, I need to play and start to hear one more time all the conversation okay yes there are two uh, three types two ways to 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 make avatars speak one is by using the cell phone the telephone I don't recommend it don't use it it's really expensive the other one is by recording your voice, your own voice, or asking your students to record something previously and you upload the voice, your student's voice to the Voki. So you make the Voki speak, but it is going to be your student's voice. This is really uh, interesting for them. And the other one is by typing. And as Diana says, it's fun to change the voice of yes, the Voki. Uh -huh, yes, go ahead. the file that, that you gave us, uh, there was an option that says that mm, we can play, stop, rewind, and also choose uh, the part of the text uh, that we want to hear. But I, I, I want to do that, but I can't. So, uh, for example, if I have, uh, if I want to, to practice some vocabulary, and I have a list of 20 words. Uh, uh, I have to to listen all the words, all the 20 words. Or can I choose, for example, from the word number seven? Okay, let me see if I understood. For example, when you type words, isolated words. Philemon, I'll give it to you, but let me say this. When you use, uh, for example, isolated words, you can type the word, and then I recommend, for example, you type one word, Boki, and then press enter two times, so you can use, uh, you can type another word, so every word is going to have two spaces between them, among them. In this way, the Boki is going to speak, to say the words with a, uh, some kind of a nice pause not everything is going to be better i mean uh, like in a like in a sentence a whole sentence i don't know if, if, if it's if that's the problem you yes yes uh, that's okay thank you you're welcome yes for everyone so when you type it is and uh, when you type your message and you want the book to read or say your message you need to be really careful with that punctuation if you use commas of course the book is going to take the comma as in a real conversation if you use a period the book is use the period as in a real conversation but if you finish the sentence and then go into the next sentence and without using a period a period at the end of the sentence of the paragraph the book is going to is going to it's going to be speaking like crazy Eddie, you can type. <laughs> okay, that's great. So technology can help us even when we are sick. Yes. Well, for example, I listen to my students, and they say some some students. Most people don't like their voices. 
I, I like my voice, I use my voice, but anyway, if you don't like your voice, you can use the Vokis Voices, yes? And as uh, I guess Veronica said, you can use uh, the British accent or the, I don't know, maybe you have the many options, yes? But of course, I do not recommend to type something in English, like <laughs> Terminators, okay, that's great, Eddie, hasta la vista, like that. <laughs> Yeah, you need to, as, as Diana said, it, we need to ch choose exactly if you want a man or a woman, yes? But anyway, that's, it's great. I recommend, for example, when you finish designing a Voki, you have a code. It is called the embedding code. You can copy that code, this embedding code, and you can copy that code and you can send it to me. So, I can tell you I can tell you how to uh, paste it in the forum so everybody can, you know exactly. You can, you can, you, you can do it by yourself. You copy the embedding codes, yes, and then in your post in the forum, you can choose the HTML function, and then you paste the, the, the embedding codes, and then you're gonna have that the bulky in your post or reply. This is really cool. This is great. Okay, guys. I guess uh, if you don't have any questions, I guess it is time to ask you this. No promises. But anyway, you already made some promises. You already promised to start designing with these tools. Okay. I recommend, and please, let's make it nice as a as an option, let's make it something like an obligation for you. Whatever you sign, share with you with all of us, so we can really learn how to be better in this designing activities with uh, these tools. It's the best way to learn. So please share it. Use the forum. Use the email addresses, etc. Okay, guys. If you don't have any questions or participations, I guess it is time to. Say goodbye for tonight. Thank you. Thank all of you. Okay, thank you. You're not an engineer, are you? But enjoy that, the bridge, the puente. Thank you, Erika, same to you, same for everyone. Have a nice and long weekend. See you in Mazatlan. No, 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 it's a joke. Okay, guys. I'm going to count two, three, and I close. I'll end this session. Good night, everyone. One, two, Three, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next Friday, first God, in the next online live session. Have a good night and a long weekend. Bye-bye.